And oh, now, cool. to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Let's Podcast. Dale, dale, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, y'all? It's your boy Switch. I'm here with your man Jimmy. I'm here with your man Jay. I'm here with your man Ant. And we have our very, very special guest from God Chases Entertainment, Brinson. Let's Yo. go. What's going on, fellas? Brinson, not to be confused with Bryson, all right? Wow. <laughs> God chases in the house. God, God chases. chases. We chase God. That's chase right. God. So what's going on, fellas? How's how's uh how's y'all week been so far? I actually got to meet my co-host for the first time face to face in person. My man Jay came like, up here. Yeah, two years, right? You know what I'm saying? It's two yeah. years. Well, a year and a half. Right? A year, yeah. Oh, not even. Yeah. Nah. Oh, yeah, not a little even. bit over a year. A little bit all over right, a year. Right. But Jay, did, did, did you stay a line of them, um, them shirts you had up, bro? I've been, I always wanted to know that. Which shirt? Say again? Them, them shirt, them, uh, that, uh, law, that law office shirt. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> we never, we never, we never actually like, went through with that you know what i'm saying that was something that was like a prototype and it was actually it was actually me that was like nah we going a little you know i don't i didn't want it to be a back and forth thing and then joey went and posted it on his page and everybody was laughing and it was like wow we had that idea like way before all this nah but jimmy went <laughs> and gave him like yo this is the real store right here Copy yeah it. i did i did yeah i did we, we need to put them on the on the on the tnc shop that's what yeah, we need yeah. to do. Saying, y'all out here, y'all messing the money up, and it's Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. Wow. Yo, so uh, did you guys get to see? Well, I mean, we touched on this a little bit with Jared. Um, the whole Bryson Gray, Lecrae, uh, back and forth. Well, Ruslan got this song, right? Yeah, well, Bryson Gray made the this song about um Lecrae. Um, did you hear it, Brinson? Yeah, I heard it like five minutes ago. What'd you think? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have I have many thoughts. Um, yeah. one outside of the ministry, right? Right. It was it, it was freaking entertaining. I was entertained. Right. So <laughs> right. uh dude, he got talent, you know what I'm saying? Um like after I heard it, I just was laughing because I was like, you know, I mean, and I don't know these dudes. He's not the first person to go at this angle, you know. Right. What I'm saying like, uh, the only the only person who has been really successful in a diss in the Christian hip hop space with like dissing another artist was uh say a lot of corner because after he dissed Bizzle, they end up being cool. He on God over money, and then you know what I'm saying you got history, but. Dog, Truth, if you right. go, if you go on like um, you know that popular website. I don't know if y'all mentioned them on here, so I ain't gonna mention them. The, the popular nah, Christian them, rap. You can mention them. Oh, okay. If y'all go on Rapzilla and type in Lecrae disc, you see a, a plethora of people. All kinds of people, there. right? Yeah, but here go the thing. After they dissed them, after they got their three weeks of buzz, I ain't never heard from none of them again. You That's know what I'm saying? True. Like. So I, you know, what I'm saying I'd have been in the game for a minute, and I didn't see people diss them, get attention, and then after that, they ain't have uh, the out. structure, the uh, the people behind them to keep them going. So I mean, I don't know how far it's gonna go, and <laughs> and you know, what I'm saying like it's really now I talk business now on the ministry part. It's real dangerous to call somebody you know not a christian, christian because you don't yeah you don't, know, you don't know where they at you know what i'm saying like, right right um, especially since dude and did this whole restoration thing yeah. like you know what i'm saying it, it feel like he trying to come back in you know and be like yo i found my relationship with god me and god we, we straight like you know what i'm saying and i don't know lecrae personally you know what i'm saying but you know it could be 
or whatever, but I ain't going to go off of like if do the fake Christian. Like you can't do that because if you do it, you got to apply it to everything that you represent right. and do. And dude is a, uh, from what I've seen, I, I, I think he said on his, all right, let me take my time. He said he was a, a Trump supporter, right? Yeah. And, right. Then after, and then after the song, he he was talking about his merch, right? Because so then if you basing stuff off of that, if I'm looking at it just purely off business and I'm like, you dropped the song and then you dropped your merch tag, I'm looking at it sideways. And but right. I don't know, dude, and right. I don't know it's hard. That's why I can't judge it. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, and, right. And, and if you and if you basing whatever you base on on Lecrae, then you got to move it and you can't move the needle for Trump. Yeah, right. You can't you can't do that because dude said right. he's a Christian. And you know, we know. We that, know that, the, the the things that that was that was my that was kind of my argument too. Um, and I was trying to get them to engage while Ruslan was with them in the live. I'm like, so you think Trump is a Christian because you're champion Trump, like he's the man of God, you know what I'm saying? And so so you're not you're not gonna press Trump or his supporters or, or certain things that they do as well, because it's it's out there, you know what I mean? But but yeah, yeah and, and in the same breath, at the end of the day, it's still music business. Right. Yeah. He whatever he he tried to accomplish it worked because right. we yeah. talking about him. Ruslan talking about him. Everybody talking about him. He sent a whole buzz. It worked. Well, I mean, and I want to be clear too. This man has had a buzz before um, the whole Lecrae thing. So right, I was right, I right. was doing some homework. I had to do some more homework on him because you know everybody's talking about him, and so. Uh, and someone actually just said a comment about you know that he was uh, he was actually he got he got he got a couple times. maga hits yeah he yeah, got a couple got, maga he, hits got a couple maga hits they were a little mad because you said it was a novelty rap but I don't really think that's that's too off you know what I'm saying <laughs> nah he, I mean he 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 blew up because of the whole maga thing because of, of the the caricature hat the red hat you know what I'm saying and doing all that the the whole. Uh, uh, Trump wardrobe, MAGA wardrobe, you know what I mean? It, it's a, it's yeah. a caricature, and 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 he blew up off of that. You know what I'm saying? All the MAGAs love him, you know? And that's, yeah. I mean, before Trump retweeted that, him. Trump retweeted him. nobody know his name. Right. And he's right. been in the White House, so he's like, right. he's out there. He got yeah, a blue check on his IG. Trump, Trump retweeted, Trump retweeted uh, his I love Trump songs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He not, Trump, <laughs> Trump ain't going to retweet his Lecrae diss. You know what I'm saying? He ain't a fan <laughs> like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. And like I said, it's a good it's a good business move. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you trying to shake the beehive, like, I mean, it's a good business move. Is it a right. great ministry move? It's not. It's not a great ministry move. If it, if you're in ministry. Right. So I, I, I know, I know, I know clearly from doing this, it's a difference between people doing music and people doing ministry, yeah. right, right. And they operate, and that. they operate, and they operate both in the CHA space. You know what I'm saying? Like certain people, you know what I'm saying? They, and and that's why when people do stuff that uh, make everybody look sideways, I don't look at it sideways. I'm like, well, maybe they wouldn't. <laughs> they ain't in this for 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 souls or whatever. Maybe they making a living off this, and you could do both. Yeah, you know right. I mean? I mean, he's definitely. I do both. He, He's definitely doing his thing um, with the MAGA stuff. And uh, I really, because I don't think that this was like a clout chasing situation. Um, I saw his interview with- You think uh, he's serious? With Mario um, and Gil. Um, and shout out to he, the Mario Asco yeah, podcast. Sh shout out, shouts out to them. And his, uh, to his, um, his approach was different because I think with Ruslan, it was already- some kind of issue there because Ruslan was kind of clowning him with the whole, ah, look at this guy, he's rocking MAGA, you know what I'm saying? Like, kind of making fun of him. And it was already like a little static there. But with the Ma with the Mario and Gil show, um, they were more like, yo, what is the thinking behind this? Which was Which came out to be a good interview because I think that he's saying, he's basically saying, I've, I, I just found out about Lecrae. I found out through him about the big uh, Spotify playlist, right? Through the Christian playlist, right? And he's like, 
I'm listening to all these Christian songs. There's no scripture in it. Not only that, so he goes, I go and I look because obviously Lecrae's face is the biggest face on the Christian podcast. Um, I, mean, I mean, the playlist. Mm -hmm. He goes into researching who Lecrae is. He hears a couple interviews, sees him on VAT, feels like Lecrae is dancing around questions and says, yo, this dude's fake. Like this dude. And that's why that was the approach of him. Like, yo, I'm going to get on a song and say this. Now, I don't agree with that because I, I have a history. I not that I have a history, but I understand Lecrae. Like I've watched him for years. You know what I'm saying? I've seen him grow. I've seen his transition and all these things. I don't think Lecrae is a fake Christian, but from his perspective, <laughs> it's kind of like that Joel Osteen thing where it was like, you you remember when, when Joel Osteen kind of danced around that question and then people started saying, mm, this dude is, is, mm -hmm. This dude's not legit. He's fake. He's, you know what I mean? Everybody right. started pointing right. their fingers. So I could understand someone like Bryson who's saying, yo, you know, I, I seen this, no scripture, no this, saw the interviews, he danced around. And, and, but, and that was the but also, also in that interview, didn't he say something like, you know, he's fairly new to the faith? Yeah, he did. So, see, so, so when I, when I personally hear that, I can't take what you say with, you know, weight because yeah, right. I'm not going to take nothing that you, if you fresh off the altar, you're going to do stuff that 10 years from now you're going to regret like right, us right. all, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I, I understand, I understand the, the, the line between zeal and wisdom, you right. know what I'm saying? And you, you got this new zeal for the Lord. You see somebody who you don't agree with and maybe he ain't being discipled. You know what I'm saying? Because what I know is when you try to rebuke somebody without having a relationship with them, it's an automatic offense. Right. It's automatic offense because if right. you don't know right. me and you come at me, you can't tell me about my life if you don't know me. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it, it's. When I heard he was he was a new Christian, or even even if he'd been a Christian four to five years, you still making those types of, of things like I can't I can't take what you say to heart because two years from now, you know what I'm saying, you might you be have like, a different you know, approach. I, I, sort of like, like that sailor, you know sort of like what you said about Sailor and Bizzle. Sailor was going at and then after a while they became homies, they talked about it and now it's G-O-M. <laughs> right, right. And say I wanted the coldest one on the label. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> right, dude. right. Now, dude said he DM Lecrae. He said, I DM Lecrae. I said, yo, you a fake Christian in his DM before wow. he put the song out. And Lecrae he said Lecrae responded with a did he, did he, thing. Did he share the screenshots, though? No, he said he didn't want to share the screenshots because he didn't want to get into that's, that. See, that's... Uh, that's kind of suspect to me because like in, in the same in the same um on the live that Ruslan was with with um with Bryson, he asked him like what comment did he say, right, in his post and he couldn't find it, right? He couldn't find anything. And then he kind of pivoted and changed the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like he really didn't stick stick to the subject. So I'm curious to see if that really happened. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. did you really reach so, out to him? And was, was it was it from a heart of restoration as a Christian, as a believer? Did you come from a heart of restoration? Like, yo, my, my man, like you bugging right now. You know what I'm saying? Like you acting like a fake Christian, whatever the words were going to be. But I to doubt. turn around and like write a 16 bars on, on, on a man that he's a fake Christian because he don't use scripture in his raps. And in the same song, you're not using any scripture in your raps. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, not in this song. You just... You yeah, trying to go out and you got them guns, you got them guns out. Right. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna tell you. Nah, I don't know about the I don't know about the guns out. The guns I'm not against the guns. Hey man, I ain't against that. I'm not against the guns, but what's like what's the message behind it? Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like you at the, the shooting range, you on you on some I'm ready to go to war. Like, I don't know. So it's it was a it was a dude, it was a dude who used to be signed to God Chasers, right? And um he went at Lecrae. Right. Mm -hmm. But his angle was mm -hmm. like he he said the same thing, but he came at him a little bit. He, he, he went at it with dog like <laughs> off, off the music. This dude went and was calling churches 
and was like, don't let this dude in your church because blah, 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 blah. See, this this is during a time of what I what I like to call the Pharisee era, right? <laughs> when when everybody was heavy on the super theology, when the theolo- when the theological Reform police theology. Was right. <laughs> when it was when the when the theological police was running CHH, right? <laughs> dudes was out here calling churches saying it making making dudes lose uh honorariums and stuff like that. Like and, and homie couldn't even go to the A because dudes was like, if you come here and you done made everybody lose all this money, we putting hands on you. So a song <laughs> is cool wow. if do it, you know what I'm saying? We know who really about that life. If you if you if you if you about this ministry, you 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 on some other stuff. I didn't see people do some some wild stuff, but I So this was someone on your label. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. He used to be. <laughs> used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. That's what I'm saying. He was on your label. Yeah, he, he was on my label a, a long time ago, and like he turned the corner. And he wanted to diss uh, Cray. He he wanted to diss uh, a whole bunch of preachers. And I was like, "Well, I don't do that over here. I don't do yeah. that." Well, so you had well, to drop well. him. So what? You had what to part ways. Why, why though? Like why he just? Bro, he... so so let me ask you this: How long you been listening to uh, CHH? And no, uh, not long. Remember, I was we was talking about. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. So give or take six years ago. And, and longer, or whatever. Like, if you wasn't on your super theological reform Calvinist mm-hmm. tip, mm-hmm. you was uh, exercised, ostracized. Nobody listened to you, and you <laughs> would have to be like mugs would talk to ministries about you and cancel you. You know what I'm saying? Like the cancel culture <laughs> would. No, I'm telling. You, it was so real in Christian rap. So now it's like. It was so bad. Now it's a direct opposite pivot. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Now dudes don't want to talk about God. You know what I'm saying? They want to mm. sprinkle. You know what I'm saying? They want to sprinkle. They want a little sprinkle Jesus. And um, <laughs> so during that time, when 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 somebody would go at anybody, it was because of their doctrine. Oh, and that I was, got you. I got you. Yeah, and that was when Lecrae first. And you had made- to. And you had to have the same doctrine. Eh? It wasn't like same. it was like if you were if you were Pentecostal, you wasn't you was the, the devil. Crowd. Yeah, you, you that's how it was. Yep. If if you if you ain't have John Piper on the in in the loop, John it was Piper, a rap for you. <laughs> John McCall. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Look, 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 froze. Look, look. There you go. Me back now. Who froze? I froze up, right? You froze Trying up. Trying to go Good difficulties time, for the Ooh. for the YouTube subscribers. <laughs> internet is bugging. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's internet's bugging right now, too. Yeah, sure Jimmy, is. Jimmy, you good? Sure yeah, in that yeah, El Chapo right tunnel. Now. El Chapo. Yeah, but I remember that. You know, and and even myself, I was kind of in into that whole like, oh, you know, you gotta get saved. And you and no, you do have to get saved. No, no, but in the way <laughs> it was that Paul Washer, it was that it was that Paul Washer. You got to get saved, you know what I mean? Like, yo, if you ain't do it this way, it was, you know what I mean? And that that actually was made me stumble because I became so like religious with everything, you know. And then everything was like, oh, that's not a god, and this and it was like, dude, it's like the word says, you know what I mean? You you uh, what is it in in um. I think it's songs of don't, no, don't songs misquote it. Don't misquote it. Don't misquote it. Songs of Solomon. <laughs> uh, it's not like Proverbs or something. Like, don't be overly righteous. Basically, you know what I'm saying. So you know that that's that's I, I remember them days, man. So you had yeah, the drop, dude, or y'all yeah, just sure. part ways? Nah, but we we had the. I, I'm never gonna say I drop dropped them, but uh, we Literally. we couldn't we couldn't agree on that stuff and he was like i feel like that's what i need to do and i'm like hey we don't do that over here if you ain't about the great commission and getting people to this altar i'll holler at you mm. brinson was on some don't rap no more huh <laughs> not over here not over here, <laughs> not over here. Look, the, the, dude the message been the same over here since 06 the message been the same that's yeah, it right so you know there was a dude that left a tweet 
and was saying, if I'll give Lecrae a thousand dollars. I saw that. <laughs> if he says he's pro life, <laughs> and then Lecrae said I'm pro life and gave him like a, 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 a cash app, cash app, which wasn't That's real, real, right? Because hey, I know no, y'all no. dudes was no, looking for no, 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 no. I went. It's I real. It's real. No, nah, I said it wasn't. Jay was saying it wasn't real. I get, bro. It's real. I sent him three dollars and said one time for the Trinity. <laughs> you did. Yeah. You probably sent the wrong person. Was it Lecrae's oh, yeah. on there? That, that was him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put. I I went to put a uh, to put a dollar in to see if it was legit or not, and I typed it in and it said, and, "You know, user not found or whatever." So I think maybe now, somebody bro, in the comments spell, might. No, have no, you, you spelled it wrong. It's, you spelled it wrong. <laughs> I double checked. Uh, but anyway. I'll, Whatever. It went through, bro. I seen the screenshots. I was like, "This is crazy." <laughs> Did he like it? Did he give you a heart emoji? Nah, he, he, you can't he do that, Kasha. Yeah, you could. You could double click it, like I put a heart. Oh, really? A heart thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, he he responded. I was like, "This is funny as crap." One time for the Trinity. <laughs> <laughs> But then no, dude, dude, like, didn't play though. dude was like, yo, he, he he put it on Instagram. He didn't put it on Twitter. Oh, oh well, he had said he had that was Twitter. Yeah, and then he put it on Twitter. Or was it on oh, Twitter? Okay. It was yeah, on it was, it, was, it was on Twitter, but he took a screenshot and posted on, on, on Instagram. Twitter, but in the comments, he said that um he didn't he didn't follow the instructions or he didn't do it right because his challenge was that. That he put it on his on his Twitter page, right? And I, I guess Lecrae didn't technically do that. He replied to him and said it. Right. So because he replied and he didn't actually tweet it himself, he's you oh know, yeah. He's like that. And I seen that the comments that really... he only did it because his money attached to it. <laughs> I was like, that's foul. <laughs> hey, let, Yo, let these somebody, are savages, man. <laughs> let somebody say that to me. It's the, uh, it's Christmas time. I'm trying to buy my mom or something. For, uh, I hey. put it. Test me today. Test me tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ruslan was speaking on how Lecrae is actually going to drop a video saying that he's pro-life. Um, if you're on the Patreon, I guess that video uh, on Lecrae's Patreon, I guess. Pay to, watch, all saw it. Um, pay to watch him say he pro-life. Yeah, so he's gonna break down his position on being pro life and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be interesting how these dudes respond now because you wanted him to respond. He's pro life. He's pro life. He's gonna respond. He already said pay. it. So now, like, how are y'all gonna respond to that? Like, are you? And and I think Bryson said, yeah, I'll I'll support him and I'll say he's yes. I put it on my page or something like that. Like he's finally said it. You know what I mean? But 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 it won't matter then, bro. It because right. you didn't you didn't already shot right, the rocket at him. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like don't don't big up me after you didn't then uh took a dump on my, my on my on my brand. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody care then. Yo like, yo yo Jay, that joint work, bro. It's Mr. Moore. Pay ties. Really? That's it. I don't know y'all can see it. I, don't know I, I wish. It. Did you see, put from I, that's not Christian? <laughs> oh yeah, nah, my, yo, crazy. we no, send you two dollars right now. <laughs> That's not crazy. <laughs> yeah, you stumbled. Yeah, you stumbled. Uh, yeah. I should have screenshotted it, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. All right, so we know it's real then. So it's real. All right. Yeah. It says so send that bag. <laughs> yeah, Jay, you gonna give him the thousand for him? Nah, he good. I heard. I heard <laughs> in the crazy book, he had broken down his position on about about what he feels about. Um, yeah, that's what Ruslan said in the in the live. live. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. You know, I, I just think that dude didn't do his homework. He didn't know who he was. And he's young and zealous, man. That's that's all he it saw. Is. He saw what he saw. He was like, nah, this dude is he's not rapping right. You know what I mean? And he needs he needs a uh, discipleship and mentorship. That's all. We yeah. all did it. You know what I mean? We were new believers. Facts, yeah. facts, facts. I mean, just like everybody else, do need prayer. Cray need prayer. Do need the. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I I did hear. A line where he like, you know, people not repping, repping the cross without scripture. I'm like, who are you listening to? I'm like, you ain't pull up none of our music. I'm like, what? <laughs> that's not right. be, it's irritating, that's, bro. Because that's I, all the MAGA bro, rappers you talking about. <laughs> it ain't over here, right? It's 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 irritating because I mean, it's so many brothers that's been grinding for the faith 
who right. not in like the main line. Like, like, dude, you you pull up any mouthpiece album, he going hard for the cross. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so many people who don't get mentioned. And uh, like, shoot, freaking K drama, bro. Like, this K-drama, mug should wow. be, dude. He should be celebrated, bro. Like, this mug is years, years in Ye- the game, years, and a producer too. And a producer, produce yeah. for everybody. You know what I'm saying? But when I be hearing that, it's it's irritating to me, dude. I'm like, y'all are lazy listeners. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you, like you know when you when you fell in love with rap and your favorite rapper rapped on something, you would go and listen to every track they own. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. right. But I don't know, dude. It's maybe maybe dudes don't really like rap, like like really diving into what what it's talking about and fusing it with let me see if this bar line up with scripture or you know what i'm saying i don't think people love it like they use that like up. yeah yeah you're right what i'm talking about i'm tripping. <laughs> it ain't the same no more man people got <laughs> you know they lazy is. like you said it's, they, it's really they, the streaming man like i don't even span. listen to full albums like that like i want your singles on a playlist and that's it no, no, no. I ain't saying I ain't saying listen to the album, but I'm like if if L- listening to what he's saying. Right. Not not even just that, but if you my favorite artist, I'ma find out every album you own and I'm like uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What's these cats that I heard in the chat? Goons for God. You heard the you heard yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Where's yeah. Where's yeah. Where's going? Where's going? Shouts out. Oh, uh, we lost Switch. Uh, but, but now nah, he was the one that po- put them up. He, he yeah. Up. yeah, Switch, you froze up. Yeah, shouts out, shouts out to the, the UK dudes, the drill music. The drill, hey, I listen to them boys, uh, them, Zadok. all that drill music. I was like, let me see what this talking about. That's, you know that's, that, that's, that's like a pre-workout. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a wave right now. I, you I, I pop like, that in, you get energized. Artists, I would like to really see more Christian artists in America get into that lane, and uh, you know what I mean. The only thing is, it's a wave though. It's not like you know what I'm saying. Like they've been doing that out there, right? What? Well, yeah, did it start in Chicago? And then, well, I don't know if it started in Chicago or London. I mean, UK. I, they've been doing it in UK for a minute now. <laughs> yeah, UK's been. Drill crazy, but they even in their comments they be judging them like, oh, this isn't. I saw that too. <laughs> I saw that they're like, this I remember God. when they, used to, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, they holding boy, the Bible boy. like a gun. <laughs> hey, them boys was rapping. I I yeah. enjoy listening to the, uh, what they talking about because I mean, if it, it feel like they got that zeal too, mm-hmm. but they just directing it different. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right, right. Yo, so uh, what's up with this new thing about uh, CHH Clubhouse? Y'all heard about that? This is like an exclusive clubhouse oh, for certain he heard about it. He smiling. Who, you, you, who heard about <laughs> it? Brent said heard about it. Brent you, know, <laughs> <laughs> you, you got invited to the smirk, CHH. <laughs> you got invited to the CHH uh, Clubhouse. Is that a spinoff no. to the CHH chat or something? What's going on, man? I don't, I don't know nothing about the uh, CHH clubhouse. I got invited to the real clubhouse with like all of the uh, producers like Timbaland and, you know. Okay. Uh, the people okay, who- Poppy Collar. Poppy Collar. Let's okay. go. Quick, quick flex. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? O- o- Oprah be in that mug. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It be people in there who uh, do uh, music supervisors for like Michael Bay and all them, like the industry stuff. So mm. I got that invite. I didn't know it was a, a CHH club. Big T's popping over here. You know so what, what, what is what is the clubhouse? Is that an app? Like what what's what what is it? It's, oh, it's, a, it's, it's like an in, invitation only type thing and you go in different rooms and, and it's only it's only for iOS by the way. Yeah. Yep. iPhone yep. users. Okay. Wow. And you do yep. what were you seeing Brinson? So some of the rooms they got like certain people going there and talk about topics like some people going there and say this is how you can get your music sync licensing they'll talk about publishing oh, they got you know master class they, they're talking about the bag basically wow so, okay there's so, some you know, naughty stuff going on all right cool right you know you know the world <laughs> they, they, they got is money so they they trying to see how, how they can get more they got so that's how it be 
Wow. So, so it's, it's like open. it's like a chat, but it's audio, right? It's all audio. Is that right? And visual. It's like the old school, old school chats, the phone lines, and all that. But is it visual as well, no. or just audio? Uh, if it is visual, I ain't, I ain't mess with the visual part yet. You know, I'm I'm fairly new in it, but they 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 gave some they dropping gems. Mm. Wow. How many people Oops. be on there? It's a lot. So people, yeah. but like I said, it's it's like invite only. But you know, some right. people go in there. The the only uh, drawback that I see, I see people giving information, but I don't see a lot of people like connecting and like, okay, send me something and I'll help you get on this. They'll be like, oh, you should do this, this, and this. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Uh, okay. Basically, okay. like everybody network. else on uh on YouTube who be giving advice, but they don't put people on. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi right. guys. I'm gonna show you how <laughs> sign up for my master class. Right. Sign up for my master class, and I'm gonna tell you everything you should be doing, but I ain't gonna give you like any lead. You gotta yeah, work yeah. that out. Yeah, no. Nah. So, 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 so you said it was a CHH one. Yeah, it's where trending is it? On, it's trending on Twitter. Oh, wow. and everybody! Everybody that's not in it is trying to get in it. <laughs> so wait, so no one in the chat in is in it. Not that I know. No. Oh, nah, I don't Justin. think anybody in the CHA chat talked about it at all. Isn't Justin in the chat from Rapzilla? No. Oh. Oh yeah, he yeah, is. But that's he, how he I found out about it. That's how I found out about the app. Because he had tweeted it up. Uh, you know, he was like, "Oh, he thinks a lot of people are gonna end up divorced because of this." Uh, the crew, the crew uh, was talking about it too. A few people were talking yeah. about it. Mm. I don't know. So, if you get an I invitation will. like Brinson, you could invite other people, or is only a, a, a like certain people that can invite people into it. Yeah, if I get an invite, I can invite other people. Oh, all right. So we in there. Then. Thanks, man. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna tell you, Oprah. Yo, Oprah was good. Was bobbing. <laughs> look, look, I'm I'm gonna act like these heathens. I need I need the cash app. It's Christmas. <laughs> yo, I seen that too. I seen a lot of people talking about like, yo, send me twenty dollars, send me thirty dollars. Like, I get you in. <laughs> it ain't that serious. It, it really not that serious, but you know, people people want to be hey, right, be able to say I'm in it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a flex. Right. Yeah, that, that ain't do nothing for me. Hmm. There's not you know nothing that you could have seen on YouTube. Then. Hey, I'm but don't don't get don't get it uh, twisted though, man. Brenton nah, about nah, his nah, bag nah, though. Nah. No, nah, it ain't it ain't stuff you can find on YouTube. Mugs be in there telling uh wild stories. Uh what producer was that talking about? Um how he got something published for Jay Z and they ain't getting no money for from it. Who was that? Oh, uh, no. I forgot the producer, but it was a crazy story. I mean, it's interesting stuff on there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's exclusive then. I'm pretty sure that the CHH one is probably more intimate, more, um, you know what I mean? Probably no different conversation chat. You know? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yo, listen, man. If y'all want to get in the real CHH clubhouse, come to Telegram. <laughs> <laughs> get all that. Okay. <laughs> with, with end to end encryption, right? <laughs> Right. <laughs> Man, forget that. What's next, y'all? Mm. <laughs> Why? Well, you froze you in, Switch? Yo, I've been freezing up, man. My yeah. dude, teleport. The connection is bad. Right, you see that? That's that Yo, teleportation. I got that, that Fios, too, man. That's nah. supposed to be the fiber optics, man. What's going on? I oh, don't know. Ain't enough fiber in your optics. <laughs> nah. Y'all hear about yeah. that uh gospel singer who was uh kissing oh. Oh, oh yeah the gospel singer yo that's a wild story though like so your man was like really living wild because he, he said he sent a video of him kissing another dude to his what? his uh his friends right on instagram Cause you know how you can send it to like your stories. If you take a video, you can send oh, it to yeah. your story. You can send it to like your friends, your inner circle. People, yeah. Right. Well, this dude sent it to his friends. Like so, his close friends. Apparently, yeah. 
Right. So apparently he had like close friends that knew that he was wilding because like, why else would you? So one you know of his friends saying? ain't a friend. Yeah, right. yeah that's right. Like, you need you need that you need that chat with Bozeman uh in a circle who ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> hey, they don't say nothing. <laughs> nah, that person was a friend, and you know what I'm saying it exposed him like dog, you can't be doing that, you know what I mean? Like that 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 that's not well, Christian. He did a good bro. thing about exposing well, maybe he could have I don't know, maybe we don't know the situation if he approached them right, about it right, and was right. like, yo, this ain't this ain't this ain't what's up, what's going on and and then he leaked it and was like, yo, the world needs to know about this. I don't know. But that was wild. They were like, <clears throat> you know what I mean? They were kissing. <laughs> right. like I seen the video and I was like, Ooh, that's crazy. And this dude's uh gospel, <laughs> he's a pretty known gospel singer too, right? He's uh that's what they said. I don't I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I've never heard of him, but music. I've never heard of him either. He ain't Fred Hammond, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. right. He ain't the commission. Right. Yo, actually, <laughs> for y'all out there, pray for Fred Hammond, man. I heard he was in uh doing well. He was uh oh yeah, I saw that surgery or something like that. So I didn't follow right. up on that, but hopefully Listen, he's all right, we got we got to pray for him. We can't let uh twenty twenty take Fred Hammond now. We got to fight back. This too much. <laughs> all right. We didn't lost that's Kobe, true though. T'Challa. Oh, like we can we can't let them take Fred now. Somebody better start praying. Everybody right. talking about this not this is not Christian podcast. Y'all ain't praying. Y'all that ain't Christian. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Yeah. Good. So yeah, yeah man, man. We saw that. Saw, that was pretty interesting. I was like, hmm. but you know how many how many people how many gospel singers that we talked about or that we that we known like yo. This has been seen as funny, and you know what I mean. Yeah, have we? Yeah, it, it's that's that's a part of the culture that you know what I'm saying ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? Like if this this the thing, it need to be. If we call to be, if the words say we call to be holy, be holy, for I am holy. Holy means set apart, and we not set apart if we looking like the world. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if if this is the thing, people say you can't judge me. No, no, no. If you in the body, according to scripture, yes, I can. Right. So right. if you not living now, now look, if you one of these people who just like, yo, I'ma just stand in the in the uh garage and say I'm a car. That's it. <laughs> just like some, certain people like look i'm gonna just stand up here and say i'm a christian and that and you know i make my livelihood from singing about jesus but i'm really not about jesus and i ain't talking to you but if you one of these people who's saying i'm a believer and my life been transformed by god you can't be in a position of i'm going to do what the world does because if you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy of God. Like, I don't, I mean, maybe, maybe it's not cool to actually read the Bible in 2020, but I mean, I mm-hmm. still do it. I mean, Man. if you don't read the Bible, that's not Christian. Show sure. <laughs> Facts. 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 I mean, I mean, it's the show, right? If we don't talk about it, if it ain't Christian, if you ain't reading the Bible, then what, what you doing? Why, why right. are you even wasting your time? Go read Harry Potter. <laughs> you know, go cast a spell or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. Go read Harry Potter. That's a quotable. Wow. Right. <laughs> go cast a spell. You ain't reading the Bible. Go read it. Go read, go Harry, read Harry Potter. Potter. Look, it's a great selling book. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it, it sells. People like stuff like that. But I'm, but I'm saying, if if you really about this Jesus life, then be about this Jesus life. And and you know what I'm saying? Like, we all working out our soul salvation. And that's why I'm like, I don't know the man. Maybe he's a struggling and recovering person in mm-hmm. that lifestyle. That's why I ain't going to sit up there and, like, condemn him. But if, you, if you're if you saying, you know, I'm transformed, it's, it's one thing to claim something and be struggling it's another thing to be like this is who i am and i'm just gonna place my car in park right 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 you know what i'm saying and i don't know this man to, to say well, i think either one 
I, but I think from that action is like, like, dude, you put it in on IG to your friends. Like, you have no, you know what I mean? Like, you're cool with your sin. You're cool with your sin. You're familiar with sin, right? You either trying to hide it or trying to get some help or something. Like, oh man, y'all been struggling with this. I need you right. Know? He's right. on something right. like, yeah. You let think me, he's you know celebrating? Yeah. Right, like, look it up. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right in there. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Let, man. Let, Romans one. Now let's let's see what the script. Let's see what Romans one say about it. <laughs> <laughs> we know what Romans one say about it. <laughs> that's 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 how that's how they gonna start killing Christians. They gonna be like, oh, if you if you if you about that Romans one life, you we offering you. I'm like, well, well, this ain't my home. Fire away. <laughs> For real. But you, that's but where it's getting pre- to. Look, but be prepared. We Second Amendment. I, you know, we, hey. We <laughs> you don't know what's over here. <laughs> we shoot back. But you know, but, but, I, but you know what though? Like I think I think generally we we as a church have done a, 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 a can you say piss poor on here? Yeah. I don't know. If, it, if not, if not believe hey, right. we have we, we have done a poor job on uh teaching and teaching, reaching and help people recover out of that lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? And mm. if and if people cool with that lifestyle, then we have to do what Paul did with the whole excommunication thing. And but you got to do it in love because it has to be a line. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because if 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 this is like the craziest thing that's happening in our culture right because if it's a if it's a pastor and he's like i'm running through all the women in the church right we crucifying him right. but that's still that's still a sexual sin you right. know what i'm saying on this part people are like oh leave him alone no ain't no leave alone is is, is this a sexual sin or not right. is this of god or not and, right, and people right. people are so scared of Speaking a of certain that's so avoidable of, out it's it's unavoidable but like the church somebody in the church pastors got to do better jobs on how to teach people like look we ain't um trying to crucify nobody but we we have a standard the standard means we can't go below this Mm -hmm. and if jesus the standard if we going under the standard then you ain't upholding nothing you know what i'm saying like that's how that's how mugs in the old testament was getting killed anyway yeah like he told him so when he told uh Saul to go kill the whole people, he's like, nah, I'm gonna just keep the king. Like mm-hmm. that's like Yo, come on, dude. Like how standard, often, bro. How often have you like you been in church and that's been brought up though? Me? Just oh bro. Anybody, I mean anybody, I mean anybody in general. Brother, listen, I came I came from apostolic ministries, like <laughs> ooh, that was in every sermon, you know. <laughs> <laughs> But the, the sermon, the sermon used to be, uh, kick Billy out from eating your kids' cocoa puffs, uh, get the <laughs> get them people out the choir, come out the sin, stop doing crack. Like that was the sermon, and then like, <laughs> yeah. and that would go on for eight hours. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you asking me, I heard it a lot. It ain't nothing new for me. <laughs> See, but but nowadays, man, they, be, they scared to talk about it because it's so accepted in the world versus, you know what I'm saying? They, it's like a lot of churches get scared. But they, you just you just said it. Yeah. That's, look what, what you just said. It's accepted in the world. In the world yeah, and it's, it's becoming so much greater. Like, it's like they scared to go against that and then be, you know, ostracized in the world. But, but 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 that's that's that was my main point in the yeah. first part when I said uh, the church has done a poor job on mm-hmm. how to handle it, how how to reconcile people back to God, how to develop a, a community. And like we got stuff to help marriages. We got stuff to help people recover from drugs with what is mm. it's just a taboo thing to not because man, one of the most powerful preachers I've ever heard in my life used to live an alternative lifestyle and he would go around preaching and uh talk about how he came out 
Like he wow. was saying he used to be with celebrities and people and he was name dropping. Like, and I was like, oh no, not him. That's that was my favorite basketball player. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, yeah. right. and he and he would just give resources and stuff on how to uh combat that mindset and, and things like that. And I think the church have not done anything like that. And it's not like we don't love people enough to do it. We just have a, 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 a ton of unskilled people. Like the church is unskilled to talk about racism. Yeah. Like yeah. it's unskilled mm-hmm. to talk about politics. It's right. unskilled. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, didn't I think Jackie, much on Jackie, that, Hills, Jackie Hills has done a, a pretty good job of addressing that. I like what I, she does. I, I love her, dude. Like she, yeah. she is like, she is on, on hero status with me. Yeah, like she, she does be, a she really be talking that talk, mm-hmm. and we need more of that. Like you said, we need more of that. We need more individuals to talk about it. Um, and like you just said, like we don't, we don't, because you know some of us never experienced that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Our experience is porn. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh well, when this dude's struggling with porn, it's 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 a different type of struggle. But if it was homosexuality, it's like, uh, like. They don't know how to handle that because even when you was in the world, you wasn't even rocking with that. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. When you was in the world, Yo, you was like not even comfortable with it. Are there any are there any dudes like on Jackie Hill's level though? Because I can't think of any. I can't Except think. That well, you, you mean you mean as far as handling that uh topic? Homosexuality and and all that. Like I addressing. haven't found one. I it I, the only people I seen was Jackie Hill Perry and this this other new artist called uh Keisha. Uh, I know her uh, Instagram is it's Keisha or something like that, and she got a, a album called Full Circle, and she talk about it heavy. Mm. Okay. She talk about I'm it. Heavy check and, her out. Um, yeah, she dope. She dope. She can I'm rap. She out. actually like she can rap, rap. So, mm, so yeah. but but she get online and she testify about it, and she like, and no, I I think it's dudes who could do it, but I don't think they they got the um. Give me a word so I can I can be right. Uh, they don't have the oh, wow. the guts, the guts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the I spiritual think the heart, I think the heart. <laughs> but you said you said that pastor, but in CHH is like or hip hop, right? It's like this bravado, right? Like it's more of oh, I came from the streets and uh, right. I, I changed my life for Christ. You know what I'm saying? It's so, a whole bunch of it's a whole bunch of. Uh, out chasing and jock riding because yeah. it just like just like in the world because dude it's 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 a ton of people who have uh great wisdom in this space but uh a lot of outlets just tune them out you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like dudes got great wisdom on all of this stuff you know what i'm saying even even handling um racism and stuff like that like you know i don't i don't agree with a lot of my brothers in Crete in Christian rap, but that don't mean they don't have knowledge and they not experts in certain uh disciplines, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. But we need that. I mean, hey, I put I put money behind somebody if they if they uh is called by God for that, you know what I'm saying? Look, PayPal yeah. is a ministry, cash app is a ministry. <laughs> about to drop his, you know, to drop his cash app too and no speaking speaking of cash and ministry, there's a church that uh transform to a strip club they trying to make it rain <laughs> they're trying to make uh, it rain <laughs> wait what's behind know. that what's behind that <laughs> i don't know it, so go ahead yeah what is no, it no, go ahead go ahead go ahead go 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 I know, it's it was california about, it's right california yeah yeah so why i gotta be california man you know how y'all it's either california or new york one of the two lockdown oh, cities man. well that's because uh, it's florida too florida man does this <laughs> but y'all always doing something crazy though. That's right. Yeah, Princeton, so, you were in New York first, right? Nah, brother. I'm 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 born and raised Duval County. No. Duval County. Shout out to Duval mm-hmm. County. Duval. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> so um yeah, so this pastor in Cali, you know, the, you know, everything's locked down, can't go worship, can't do anything. Um, uh, so he was like, okay. So strip clubs could be open. I'm gonna turn my church into a strip club. And then Jimmy. Wow. Went. Yeah. Come but, on. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. How did he change it into a strip club though? Like 
did he like you know like 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 I think I think it's it's more like John MacArthur when he said that they we were you know they were peacefully protesting right he called the serve you know what I mean it's just semantics I think you know well he, he did say he had to remove an article of clothing so he 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 took a tie off and had the congregation oh <laughs> uh oh <laughs> yeah. it's lit so, hey whatever the whatever the congregate I guess right <laughs> yeah wow and they did it though so. I mean, I mean, hey, you gotta hand it. You gotta loophole. hand. It. Yeah, you gotta hand it for the creativity. Uh, yeah, I mean, the other day, um, the 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 courts had uh, stopped Cuomo because Cuomo was trying to do the same thing in New York with like shutting down large uh, church gatherings, and the the court was like, nah. And then Amy Barrett was actually one of the one of the people on that ballot that opposed that. So you know what I mean? I think that's good, man. People want to go to church. You can either watch on Zoom. Or go to the actual service if you feel the service. Wear your mask. Do whatever you gotta do. Like you know, yeah. Princeton saying no. We used to, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no, you saying no, Princeton? And you, you really don't want you don't want it with me on this one. Let's <laughs> go. We want it. Let's get let's it. Let's go. We want it. Oh, all the smoke. The listeners <laughs> want it. You saying no? What? Wait, what part are you saying no to though? Yeah, yeah, the stripper part or the. <laughs> <laughs> he don't want to call the church no strip club. <laughs> yeah, right Man, it, it, I got I got strong feelings on it because like if if you in a place that's popping with with COVID and all that, what you going like, Pete? So this this all right. Let me slow down. So this 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 is what COVID has done. COVID has exposed the church, mm. right? It, it exposed people to what their real relationship with God is, right? I don't need to go to a building. My, my relationship with God is solid. Like I can, I can throw on Fred Hammond for eight hours and I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? My, my relationship with God don't predicate on going to a building right and i know some people just like you know it and i know some people are against it because they feel like if the government can infringe on their freedom to worship then it's trouble i'm like have you read the end of the book it's coming whether you like it or not (laughs) that's true like some somewhere sometime we got to get to the end of the book eventually we got to get to the end of the book and like you know what i'm saying i've i've had uh some family members i had to bear because they went to church got it came home and was out out of here friends wow got it went to a church or a funeral or something like that, went home and they out of here i'm just like if it's affecting black and brown people or people of color three to four times more than everybody else then what's wrong like the funny part is the people who fuck about it was the ones who weren't going to church anyway i'm like oh you 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 went you went to church eight times in the last seven years and now it's a problem now you want to go you know what i'm saying like you ain't never ushered you ain't no you don't even you don't pay tithe you don't do none of that and you got a problem man come on man like I don't know, dude. Like, I think if if we in the last days and we know what's about to pop off, then why why are we surprised when stuff start popping off? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, if if the word say nation gonna rise up against nation and then people losing their mind, oh, it's civil unrest. Like, right. man, that's odd. Only if we had a book to tell us that this was coming. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yo, speaking on that, right? Because you, you we know and you know it's coming. So you 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 do your your prepping, don't you? Huh? Huh? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. I'm confused. Uh. Prepping what? No, I'm just saying, like, you know, you, you just make sure you got your you got whatever you need, uh, if things go down. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I've just... I've been I've been I've been set since for a minute. Yeah. Since, uh, February, February. I've been I've been good. <laughs> oh, so so when everything popped off, did you feel like you had to run out and, uh, or you was you was already you was already on it, like you know? 
So yeah. I, I got I got friends in um, a lot of different countries. I knew about COVID in uh, October. I have oh. I got a friend in wow. uh, South wow. Korea who's who's uh, medical. Yeah. And they was and they was telling me how they were locked down about it for for a long time. And they was like, look, uh, this thing is bad. If it hit America, you better be ready. Yeah, Yo, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm tight at bring, uh, uh, now I'm tight at you for saying that. And dude ain't even put that in the chat, yo. Mugs was too busy uh talking talking about politics. I was done. I was like, I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not, nah, but yeah, so they was already talking about it. They was putting you on. Wow, in yeah. October, last October. Yeah, the early start. Just the Olympics. So, and, and we just, wait, it passed. When was it? When was the anniversary? Was it in, in October? No, no, November. No, no it, November it, it, re- it, really, it really hit here in March. Because March yeah. was like the last time I was like on the plane and, and doing some touring and stuff. And um, after March, when it got really bad, that's mm-hmm. when it really hit. But it was hitting... Europe, Asia, the end of last year, it was hitting them hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like right, it right. killed so many people in Italy. It was crazy. Like because Italy has like such an elderly oh, population. Yeah, right. Population, right? Out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I was in. I'm in New York, and I think January, already in January, February, I was wearing my mask, and people were looking at me crazy, and I was like, No, nah, I don't know what the heck this is. I don't know what. <laughs> wear the mask for the breathe video. Yeah, but you know they they were looking at me crazy. I was getting on the trains on the Metro North. And yeah, like, and Dude, was, you know that, that's real because I I had got I had got a mask in January too, mm-hmm. and I was rocking it just to rock it. You know what I'm saying? Like before everybody was wearing masks. Yeah, like a fashion. Then, you was on some yeah. off white. <laughs> you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. some Virgil. And, uh, <laughs> yo, then March hit, and then everybody was rocking the mask. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know yeah. what I'm saying? I rem- future, future told y'all he future. I ain't saying he a prophet or nothing. He said mask on, mask off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's wild. <laughs> right. So yeah. So I mean, but that's a good point that you brought that he brought up though. Like you know what I mean? Especially when you experience those things. My thing is just like everything else be open. Your WalMarts be open. Your who's going to Walmart still? Sh- I think I think yeah, the past a lot of people. I think the past this whole thing was yo, y'all got strip clubs open, but y'all don't have churches open. Like, right. That's essential. The church. We need some prayer. And we and you're right, we could do that through Zoom. We could do that on the phone. We could do that through home visits. But it's like, y'all, you know what I mean? Like, y'all just Bro, look at- that it's crazy to me. You mean to tell me God ain't God enough to go through your computer and, and <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> like, like yeah. what, what type of God you serving? He ain't strong enough to hit you at your house. He like, could hit somebody. you at your house, but you gotta you you. This is the thing: you're gonna let a strip club open, but not a church. Like, come on. Right. I think it just uh, go back you, to what you, you said. You, you acting like these are morally high people who <laughs> make any rules. <laughs> <laughs> so we, at some point, you gotta make some kind of stand. It's not just like, oh, y'all just come and just. Do what y'all gotta do. It's it's like yo, I'm a, nah. Like we we wanna we wanna fellowship. We wanna build together. We wanna you know what I mean. Whatever. They got a phone. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I hear zoom it in. Yeah, Brinson, no. he ain't going to the service. Man, listen. So so Brinson, you watching everything through Zoom right now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Yep." Well, you hesitate. I think I think that's because he experienced. You know, your experience has been like, yo, this joint. No, this real. look, this book, this before. Uh, I had to bear people. I, I yeah. wasn't playing with this stuff. Oh you know yeah, what I'm saying? like, dude, my my trust level for uh government and all that, my trust level is zero. Oh, like, yeah. I, don't trust, I, I don't. I don't trust media outlets. I don't trust the government. Yeah. If if it ain't written in red. And you know, if it ain't in the King the in, red in the LeBron James version, the LeBron James version. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
I mean, if KJV you know, I said, only. <laughs> you know what I'm saying I know I know people on that uh, ESV, but you know what I'm saying if you ain't rocking with LeBron, I mean, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, ESV is a good version, man. Come on, <laughs> you know, it's, I like it. I read it, but you know, I got to, I got to, I got to see what the king's talking about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. But what the king say? <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, man. So Brinson, what's going on with you, man? We 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 we've, we've heard that you had a you had a, a album drop this year around July. He said we heard. Yeah, we heard. <laughs> right. We that heard cuz for does y'all that, that don't that mean that mean you ain't heard it. That's all I mean. <laughs> for y'all that don't know out there, Brinson was like, "Yo, y'all heard my album?" And uh-huh. we were kind of like, "Yo." No, nah, no we. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey, that's real though. That's see? real. Hey, that's real. Cause Ant was like, "Yo, that joint he got with Sailor is fire." And I told yeah, him, he did oh. mention that. He did mention that. I had to pull that joint up. Yeah. Nah, and I told, I <laughs> told that, that. that. I was listening to that joint. I was like, "Yo, this joint is mm. tough." And, yeah, and then, uh, and then when he found out that was uh, album number ten, he was like, "You got ten albums?" I was like, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> I said, I said, I gotta, I, now I gotta catch up. But you know, <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not crazy and delusional and to, to be like, I know everybody, be up on everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because if I ain't, uh, if rappers not on certain sites and certain people not talking about them, people, you know what I'm saying? But I've had many years of just staying on the road, being successful, and God has just been blessing. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, but Praise so God. that's 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 why I don't too much trip about it. I do trip, but I don't trip in public. <laughs> you know what I'm so you was tripping when you was like, "Yo, you wear ten? I'm on ten, yo." Would you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. Hey, how, how many how many of your favorite artists in in the Christian rap space can talk about? They got ten projects that that's been. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like, true. I, you know what? Let, let's go see, ahead, let's ahead, name listen. some. Let's let's name some. K drama. Bizzle, Let him Seven. Out. uh, Dylan Flame. Chase, Flame, Flame got ten. I'm gonna say yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna Google it right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, he ten album like Chris. Yeah, he might got ten. He might got ten. I think Truth might have ten or he on nine. But you, after that, that's that. When we ain't counting mixtapes. I know, and it, it's crazy. You know, it's bugged because, and it just so happens that you know what I'm saying. Brinson asked me out of all everybody. Guess <laughs> what? Know. He got you know ten I mean? exactly. Oh, he got ten. Let's go. Ten exactly. Ten. Studio albums. Uh, ten. Oh. So, but it's crazy. I was saying with Brinson, like you know, because a lot of dudes, like I like you say, if you don't really talk about it. You know, I don't know because. When we was put in the chat originally, you know what I'm saying? I was getting to know everybody just off of them. Their name, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I ain't never really stopped to say, yo, what you do? Or what do you do? You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So I, I didn't know. And then, you know, when Jimmy was like, yo, you know, Brinson is an OG in the joint. So, all right. So when he said that, so I reached out. I was like, yo, what's up? And then Brinson was like, wait, wait, wait. Did you hear my joint though? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, nah, I ain't hear it, but I'll listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I didn't know because I was like, yo, this is in July. I didn't even know you dropped the joint. Cause for one, I ain't see him, you know, mention it or some dudes be like, yo, I got this X, Y, and Z dropping or whatever. So I didn't even know. Dude, you know? so it, that, that the chat ain't the place to like really drop your stuff because there's a whole bunch of rappers in there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. You, you can't really rap for rappers. You know what I'm saying? If if, if they if they with you, they they already know. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, thankfully a lot of the brothers in there rock with me. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's 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 something. But you know, a lot of hip hop artists that tour a lot like I. I did, but pre-COVID, um, they got certain pockets of people that you, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You'll never know they doing anything until you get into that pocket. Like, dude, Dylan Chase got freaking 11 or 12 albums and, and 
probably none of y'all can name five Dylan Chase albums. I mean, songs. Nope. No. See? Yeah. Right. But that brother make a living. He got a he got a whole production set up when, when he tore lights, ball machine. That that dude come in in a record place. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's, it's a ton of people, man. Like uh shoot. Yeah, he knows his, he knows his lane, right? Yeah. And and you don't trip when you mm-hmm. You got your people, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, you right. Got, you don't have this much, but the people who God sent you, you you can live off of it. You travel, you sustain, you make a difference, yeah. you develop relationships, all sorts of stuff. That right. means I've been talking too much. Nah, nah, oh, nah, 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 nah. But you know what? I, I I I agree with you because, like, even with with our podcast, man, like. We we're in our own lane and we know it's not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? And and so like we don't take offense when like people <laughs> right. <laughs> like like when, when people don't listen and don't tap in because it's it's not for everybody. Somebody like the real deep theological podcast, and that's cool. That's not us, you know what I'm saying? And we're not trying to perpetrate anything that we're not, you know. And some people like the the real uh Christian political leaning type of podcast you know what i mean that ain't us like we cover topics you know what i mean because this is barbershop talk for us um but that ain't us you know what i'm saying so i think it's dope when artists find their lane you know what i mean and and they and and they write that out somebody in the chat was like i don't remember who it was but they were like they made 30 racks off of of chh like that's a job for some people you know what i mean and i I know i know artists i ain't gonna name him right but Y'all might have never even heard of him. That dude pull in six figures. And he never owned rap wow. He never owned y'all <laughs> radar. He ain't never mentioned. And I see dude and dude showed me uh uh honorarium check. I'm like, hey, don't throw me in there. Tell him I'm coming to the next camp. Come on, somebody. <laughs> 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 on, somebody. Come on, somebody. But you know, I you know, the guys on my label, they, they work hard. We about we about souls. Yeah. And um man, it's it's just uh I think now I didn't drop two books, ten albums. I dropped the book with an album, my tenth album for the first time I uh got it on vinyl. So oh, that's wow. sold out. Huh? That's sold out in like uh three days. Wow. Yeah, I heard wow. vinyl. Vinyl's coming back, like the. Yeah. Uh, but the only thing there's surprised. one manufacturer, there's a, there's a right? Premium for vinyl too. Yeah, no. there's not. Oh, okay. I heard it's, that there was one manufacturer still open in Japan. Nah, brother. They got one here in LA. Oh, uh, they got one here in LA. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. Yeah, that's the. It was crazy then. Uh, vinyl's coming back, but that's what's up. Sold out. That's what's up. Yeah, it was it was dope and because what I wanted to do with my tenth album was do a whole bunch of tangibles, so. When people ordered, I had, dude, I had CDs. It's good they for shows, out. too. Dude, the CDs sold out. So, I'm, you wow. know, people are like, oh, people don't buy CDs no more. You, yes, next they time do. somebody say that, <laughs> tell them they lying. So, Yo, people buy my man Prince. Hey, they, they, I sold out of CDs. I sold out of vinyl. Um, um, I, What I did was when people ordered, I just made a big package. I sent stuff just to appreciate show appreciation because i mean if you've been rocking with me for 10 projects and i'm still able to do what i'm doing like dude like it's it's more about the people than it is with me you know what i'm saying yeah and you, had, and you had some uh cool features too right you got uh dre murray uh stephen malcolm uh Sayla. so you had some you know what i mean some dudes <laughs> And because I, I didn't I didn't done shows with just about everybody in the game, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Me and me and Dre, me and Dre been friends a long time, you know what I'm saying? So that went, you know, that was that was like he hit me up for a feature or I hit him up. It's it's no brainers. We going in. That's dope. The artwork is dope too. What what's up with the uh it looks like a a, a, a Thanos <laughs> yeah, 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 so, a comic fan. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a big comic fan, dude. Like, like I'm I'm looking this way, and I'm looking at a, a, a Stan Lee Black Panther sign number one. Wow. Um, so, like, the most most of my money go to prepping in uh comic books. 
So. <laughs> well, I, I noticed you mentioned Mandalorian a lot, yeah. So I know you watching it. Oh, dude, it's the Mandalorian trying to save twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I peeped in a few songs you had mentioned Mandalorian. This is the way all that. No, I, I mentioned it once. Uh, Ready Writer mentioned it. Uh, he me- yeah, he mentioned album. it. Yeah, because yeah, he said this is the way, but you had mentioned it in another joint. I was like, oh, he yeah, watched yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that was that was me spazzing out on nerd bars. That yeah. was, I did that. I did that song strictly for me. I was like, this ain't for nobody but me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna talk, talk about wrestling and comic books and movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm I'm a big AEW fan, so you know what I'm saying? I didn't been a uh y'all don't watch that, do you? Oh, AEW, the the the, no, the, the new, new joint. That's the new joint. the new wrestling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't watch that. You wilding? <laughs> <You wildin'. laughs> so they, they, they is it extreme? Over? Is it like ECW or? Nah, nah, nah. It ain't. Uh, it ain't like it, it ain't like ECW. But Taz is on there. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. Wow, I, he's been I, wrestling for years. But he ain't wrestling. He he commentary. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. Oh, dude I, dude, I used to fly to their pay per views, dog. Like. Wow. AEW, damn y'all, you wilding because you don't watch it. You wilding. I don't, but I stopped watching wrestling like in general. Like I was like, I told um Monster Tarver that yeah, I was like, Tarver, I was yeah. like Tarver when you came in, I was already gone. Like I didn't know who came, who was in, who was on. You know what I mean? That's my homie. I know him for years. He oh, yeah. yeah, he introduced me to some wrestlers, and dude, we we've been homies for years. Wow, like he. He used to uh before he rap, he used to be crump dancing. Like he was what <laughs> big dude crump dancing? No, he, he used to kill it. So, he used to kill it. He used to kill it. <laughs> he was killing. He the homie though, man. He he the super homie. That's a good That's dude. what's up. That's what's yeah. up. Uh Brinson, question. So you've been in the game for uh uh probably a little more over than a yeah, a minute, a decade. You got 10 albums. Um and now with COVID and artistry and touring, like where do you see th- that moving? Because you see now you have, you know, like I guess the digital version of, of a concert. Um, mm-hmm. So where do you see the industry uh, moving towards? Because um, do you think we'll be back to where, uh, cons- you know, you have a concert at a venue and people are going to show up, you know, I by think- the jokes? Certain people are still torn. You know what I'm saying? Like, I seen Stephen Malcolm put up some stuff about he, he gonna right. be at a church. I think, um, I don't believe it's gonna go back to what it was. I think people are gonna do more digital things. I think Patreon, with, where artists is gonna explode more. And I think um, people are gonna do more, uh, like what I've been doing, I've been doing like more pop up. Uh, if a church, church, I had to turn down so many shows, so I had to kind of transform it to be like, if you want me to do a dedicated um, broadcast, a live concert for uh, your ministry, then I'll do that. And and I've been having a really good success in that. I went out and bought a ton of cameras, uh, video switches, all sorts of stuff. You see, you've got the green screen, so I'm, you know, what I'm saying. So you're it's, doing everything it's virtually then. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to do that. You just you just gotta adapt and whatever. And you know, and people concentrating on streams. I think it's a resurgence of, like you said, vinyl, cassettes. I've been seeing dudes put cassettes out and sell two to five hundred cassettes in 24 hours wow. because it's it's tangible and people want um tangible things to go with their love for the artist because it's been missing for so long. So I think mm-hmm. the industry is going to go to more of a boutique style of how it's brought to people. Yo, that's a good point. That, that tangible, cause you don't really have nothing. Like you used to get the CD, you break open the CD, you, you, you read the that, book, you read, yeah, right. Yeah. It was like, that was an experience. Now it's just, let me just click this button, type in this artist and bang, I got his stuff. No, no dude. I try to do stuff that people gonna remember because I'm like if if somebody order a CD and I send them a CD a book stickers a handwritten letter 
and just other things like that people gonna remember and like when i dropped my album i was like man i'm gonna just pick some people hit them up if they order from my site or whatever i'm gonna ask them what size shoes they wear and i'm gonna send them some lebrons or some something so so they know like it's artists that still care about you just not a stream for me right right you know what i'm saying like and i think if when when people when artists get that mindset that it's about the people again they're gonna start adjusting and it's gonna look good because when you get real people following you you can drop a hundred albums they always gonna be there mm, you know what right, i'm saying right right the like, super fans you ain't sending the lebron with the neon laces ain't you hey <laughs> you ain't sending that's no- a bar that's oh, you a bar this- <laughs> you sending some jordans or what man yeah oh, okay cool Need them off whites. I'll be there for that. (laughs) (laughs) Them off whites. (laughs) I mean, I'm me, me and my homeboy Ready Rider. We we working on a duo project. I ain't announced yet, but I'll say it on y'all podcast because you know. Hey, hey, we always getting exclusives, man. Let's go. I mean, you know what I mean, and you know what I'm saying. We 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 didn't got a group name or whatever. We're gonna be called Medallions. You know what I'm saying? Because it sounds like some old boom bap underground. Mm. And that's what we're gonna be doing. So um that's my lane. You know what I'm saying? And now are uh, you are you guys mainly just when you was when everything was open, were you guys just mainly doing churches or was it like underground like bars churches. and clubs? Churches. I man, I probably did maybe like two clubs a year or something like that. Um so it was bar it was churches mainly, festivals, um a lot of ministry outreaches, um, yeah. youth events. I did camps. Uh, I did a camp in Alaska that was crazy. In Alaska. Um, oh, dude, I've been I've been around the world with what? it. Small flex. You know, you know how people Spotify <laughs> be like. You know how people Spotify be like, yo, I've been. I mean, they've been country. in all these countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Princeton is that in the flesh, man. He's been all no, over in the flesh. <laughs> But you know, it's been God, man, because it's like I I think it's one of them things where it's like the people who you least likely expect God to do something with, that's the ones he be doing all the wild stuff with. You know what right. I mean? Like, dude, I would last year I was rapping in Japan, bro. Like that jump wow. Kanichiwa. Uh, Kanichiwa Genki Deska. <laughs> nah, he hey, just know the first part. Jimmy just know the first part. <laughs> oh, nah, nah, dog. I, I'm I'm actually studying Japanese, so you don't, wow. you, don't want, you ain't ready. You ain't ready. <laughs> I'm with the uh, let me get my Japanese bars up. I'll be back. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm serious about it. I'm doing it. Look, I, I really like. wanted to. I really wanted to learn it so I can uh, give the gospel. And, and so I you actually, so you can watch anime without the subtitles. Not yet. <laughs> I know. No, I, I speak on the on a toddler level. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know how babies be like, give me yeah. that. I want that. that yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the bathroom? All that good stuff. Now you you've been podcasting as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I've been podcasting um this month is six years. Wow. wow. That's oh, dope, dope. status. Wow. Yeah, and, and the reason I started the uh, the God Chaser podcast, so I wrote a book called 10 Things Every Christian Hip Hop Artist Should Know," yep. right? Yep. And um, I I put that out the same time I did. I started the podcast because I wanted to give artists tools, techniques that I wanted to do for the new people that they ain't do for me. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I had everything that that it's been it's been the Lord, right? But it's been the grind. I I've been like the artist who ain't nobody co-signed. You know what I'm saying? Like right. out the mud. Me, <laughs> right. And and I'm like, I don't want people to go through what I had to go through. So I started right. a podcast, like I'm gonna drop gems every week for artists, and if they and and I'm gonna give them things that can increase their money, like techniques for publishing and uh things how they can make extra money at shows that they don't even know about if they with these organizations and stuff like like i'd be 
giving all that stuff that not everything, but if I ain't give it on a podcast, it's in the book. So it's in the book, man. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to give that to the Christian rap artists because I'm like, man, they so needed. Dudes who talk who rapping about the Lord is needed. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And and it, it, I seen the problem. I hated it that it happened to me. So I'm like, yo, you don't need no cosign either. You need Jesus. Follow these. Get, get your prayer life up and just run with it and see where, where the Lord takes you. Wow, man. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Oh, praise God. That's what's up, uh, man. It is, it is. Um, well, y'all, 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 y'all acting like everybody ain't a Christian who come on y'all uh, show or something. <laughs> nah, nah. We, <laughs> but everybody, but everybody ain't got ten albums. Books, yeah, everybody right. ain't got ten yeah. albums. Yeah. Six years and of podcasting, yeah. and, and it's touring all over the <laughs> all over the place. In right. Japan coming and Alaska, here, no, learning that. Japan, right? right. Coming up here talking Japanese, man. Everybody ain't doing that. Hey, everybody's just LeBron's trying to get out. their stream numbers up that's all they care about stream this stream that but well, you you talking yeah, about that, that tangible can be fabricated stuff. that can yeah. be fabricated you know right what I'm saying? oh yeah absolutely uh, right you're talking about tangible stuff things that that really gonna be important to the artist's career and or ministry um right. so it's good stuff man we appreciate that wisdom man for real word word yeah. word so y'all, what I hope you... y'all invite me back. I, I feel like I didn't talk too much on this month. I no, think no, no, no. You, you did it. Nah, you, you dropped gems, bro. Yeah, yeah. Where can where can people find you if they need to find you? Um, on Twitter, it's I am Brenton. On uh, IG, it's God Chases G O D C H A S E R Z. My website is uh, I am Brenton dot com or God Chases dot com. Uh, do people be dropping their Patreon on, on this mug? You go ahead, drop go it. Ahead, drop drop everything. Go ahead, get the bag, secure the bag. Uh, <laughs> Patreon.com backslash God Chases. God Chases. So. Money behind cash out is a ministry. Come on, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need. Yo, we need to get we need we need to get a we need to get sponsorship from Pushpay, man. It's, it's, so we can stop. Uh, you know that's a Christian company. That way, you know we're not. Sending people to Cash App and Venmo and all these other push pay he- wow. heathen companies, yeah. you know what I mean? Hey, when me and, <laughs> hey, y'all figure out something when me and Ready Writer drop this album, man. I'll uh, I'll sponsor a show. Hey, hey. This is hey. A- hey. Oh, let's go. appreciate Bro. that. We need we need yeah. that podcast book too when that drops. <laughs> right, the ten tips for podcasters. Ten tips for podcasters. <laughs> hey, don't play with me. I'll hey, I'll drop that boy. Well, yeah. Make, sure, make sure you listen to your guest's album. Album number one. Listen, because when you don't listen to to your artist guest album, that, that's not Christian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be inviting me here, and you ain't even heard "Throw the Crown." You don't even know what "Throw the Crown" is, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's dope, that's dope. well with that being said we want to thank everybody for watching uh listening subscribing uh if you're not already subscribed on youtube make sure you hit the subscribe button give us a thumbs up um this episode was dope also uh don't forget uh to go to peach coffee roasters and use promo code tnc10 mm. for some good uh coffee and don't forget to get your merch at shop that that's not christian.com uh we'll see you next week Peace. Peace. Peace.